Hi, welcome to our presentation. Our topic is moderation visibility, mapping the strategy of volunteer moderators in live streaming micro communities. Live streaming provides ways for people to gather and socialize. This is an example of how users create content in live streaming communities. The content producer is streaming content on the left side of the screen. Um, viewers are commenting in the chat room on the right side. Sometimes some viewers break the rules and harass other viewers or the streamer. In order to regulate those harassment content and the rule breakers, streamer would like to appoint volunteer moderators for help. However, moderators face challenges caused by the high interactivity and there's a lack of understanding of how moderators do their job to support their micro communities. Um, here is an example of a moderating message on Twitch. The moderator just deleted a message and tried to reply and explain to the viewer. This study aims to understand the moderation practice in live streaming communities. So we ask, what is the workflow of volunteer moderators in live streaming communities? Specifically, what are the strategies and how are they connected? We use Twitch as a research platform. Twitch is a global leading live streaming platform with many streaming categories, such as music, talk shows, sports, and travel and outdoors. It is interesting from a moderation perspective because the users develop and maintain their own micro community. We recruited 21 moderators from Twitch in many three ways and conducted semi-structured interviews. Among the moderators, 15 are male, four are female, two are transgender. We used semantic analysis to code answers in the concepts and group the relevant concepts into themes. Then we discussed the themes and mapped them out on the whiteboard. We finally got this diagram to show each moderation strategy and how they are related. We identified four proactive strategies. The process began with monitoring without any intervention. If moderators feel that the chat room could potentially go wrong, they would intervene and say something that could deter the potential violators. At the same time, moderators can keep posting the rules and guidelines manually or through the bot in the chat. They will also activate the Twitch auto mod to block toxic words. If necessary, they interact with viewer to set a good example so that other viewers can mirror in their behavior. After moderation of the, the uh, after moderators of the bad act, they would usually review the chat history to understand viewers' behaviors. If they were not sure about the punishment, they would ask other moderators or the streamer for help. If they were sure what they should do after profiling or after the discussion with other moderators and the streamer, they would decide to either dismiss the actions and ignore those messages or take a series of actions to either curb the content or block the violators. Sometimes certain viewers were not satisfied with the punishment and would like to argue with the moderator privately. They could also keep harassing the stream with multiple accounts so that moderators had to delegate and ask other viewers to report the violator to the platform. Till then, the moderation ends and go back to uh, proactive strategies. In this study, we want to highlight something. First, many communicative strategies applied at both proactive and reactive levels could be achieved because live streaming provides an immersive and active experience for user engagement. The visibility of volunteer moderators highlights the importance of affordances of live streaming. Second, moderation plus live needs the combination of a series of strategies instead of simply banning and deleting, which means that Moderators put so much effort to minimize the action that could, that could potentially drift with users. Even after the moderation, the viewers could ask the active moderators on site for the reasons or even argue with the moderator. Thus, their voice could be heard by moderators in the dynamic interaction process, and their valuable feedbacks might potentially contribute to the moderation process. Thanks for your attention.